Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called Mabeth. Another episode I love, like, a lot, a lot. Spoilers in this video for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but no spoilers in this video for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered. And, yeah, let's, let's dive in. Yeah, um... I quite enjoyed so early in the episode like Fitz is like okay you got me here but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be nice to you you know and and you know he he like stops and he's looking at a thing and Grant is like look I, we all want to get back off this planet if you can just help me find you know and Fitz is like would you shut up for two seconds my god is He could very easily have just said, no, 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 I'm working. I just, I need, I need quiet and I'll get it. No, he baited Ward into to saying something so he could blow up at him. And I love it. It is very, it's giving nerd getting back at Jock only way he knows how. Honestly, I've probably done it myself. It's very, like, because it's like, He's not going to be able to win in a fight, you know. He doesn't. So, so that yeah, this is something, and he does go for the gun. And Ward, of course, is faster. He's had more military training. And yeah, we see the the, and it even gets a hail hydra out of Ward. We, so that's where the, the symbol originally, or wait. No, yeah, I guess that's where the symbol either came from, or maybe he, maybe the the, maybe it recreated it. I gotta, I gotta have something to call Hell Beast. They call it Hell Beast in this episode. The Hell Beast made the thing there on the on the planet after being sent there, and let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoy, you know, Joey's like, okay, so, uh, I'm a, a new guy here. What, what, what exactly? I'm, I, I'm confused. And, and Hunter's like, yeah, um, okay, uh, let me bring you up to speed. We did the plan. The plan failed. We're screwed. And let's see. Yeah. And, you know, Simmons realizes that they've got the the calculations off and you know corrects them and Gideon's like oh thank you young lady and she's like I'm just doing it so, to make sure that you know Fitz comes back and I love I really miss Powers Booth I'm I'm glad he got to to record as many performances as he did before passing No one but Maveth is coming through that portal. Fitz was just to lure him in. Just like, oh, just... And, you know, oh, he had to wait until after she helped with the countdown to to say that, you know, yeah, just... He's just, yeah, Powers Booth has played a lot of villains that we love to hate. <laughs> I'm not saying that the movie Sudden Death is overall good, but he's a lot of fun in it. It's honestly, it's entirely, it's enjoyable for what it is. It's it's much more entertaining than you might think. It's not a good movie, definitely not. Anyway, um, let's see. And no, I'm not just recommending it because I did and do like... Jean-Claude Van Damme. Let's see, I might not have watched it if if that hadn't been the case, but you know, there's definitely some of his movies that I'm not recommending to anyone. And let's see, we have, yeah, um, Fitz manages to to get to the to the entrance, 
drops down, finds Will, and Grant, of course, you know, we, we were told in Season 1, he's used to eliminating, ah, uh, crap, li liabilities, was that what he said? You know, something like that. So, you know, he sees Will, and which I really... I'm I'm gonna miss so Will Daniels played by Dylan Casey. I guess if we see him after this, it's gonna be like a fantasy sequence, dream sequence, or like flashback kind of thing. You know, I I really liked him. Uh, there's this great unpredictable like when he started killing Hydra, I didn't pick up. That's got to be the Hell Beast. I was like, I mean, yeah, we knew he had a little bit of a dark side. You know. Just, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah. Um, Coulson wakes up, you know, it starts out this. It was actually, yeah, it was very the Wolverine. Like, you know, seemingly this is a very pleasant. I don't think that it's meant to be like the Wolverine. I think they both got that idea from the same original source. That would be my my guess. But yeah, you know, he's he's like and and so she so we did at least get a little bit more of, of her. She's also one of them. I'm gonna miss Constance Zimmer being on the show. But you know, she she says, I wish we could just stay here, but you have to wake up. Wake up and you know he wakes up and there's like a skull really close to his face, just so creepy. And I can respect, you know, he wakes up, looks around. I'll be damned. Tatooine. That's, yeah, that's legitimately a, a fun little, yeah. And then we have the, yeah, um, I like the the nickname the, for the for the Inhumans. You know, so like, okay, um, go go Power Rangers. And <laughs> Joey is like, you know, I'm really glad nobody can read my mind because I really don't want anyone to think what I'm thinking, but to know what I'm thinking right now. And you know, Hunter. <laughs> God bless him. He's trying. He's trying to be encouraging, and and you know, it's, if it's that you know, oh, you don't belong here. You 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 should be anywhere else. You're not good enough for this. It's what we're all thinking. And you know, me, I'm not. And Daisy's like, okay, everyone other than May is thinking. <laughs> I love that. Not only it's completely in character. Not only does May not at all feel like that, but she felt the need to announce it in the exact moment. Just like, no, don't put that on me, okay? I am I am a stone-cold badass delivering stern looks whenever needed. It's, you know, just... You know what? You know what? Fine. You guys, go back to the plane. I'll handle this on my own. It's, you know, just love her confidence. And... Let's see. Yeah, we have Fitz saying, you know, I, I went over how the two of us were going to meet so many times in, in my head. I couldn't have prepared myself for the blood or the smell. And Will just looks as like, I can see why she loves you. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean... That is the that is her sense of humor as well. So yeah, and you know later in the episode we see like the entire leg, like a, a chunk of it is gone. That's why the the smell is so bad. You know so, yeah like um at when he when Fitz says that line, he probably thinks and certainly that's about what we think. Oh, because like. No shower, like no, no hygienic anything for for fifteen years. You know, yeah, that that's gonna be pretty bad. But no, it's you know, there's this, with all that flesh gone, the the 
smell of the like the inside of the lake just so yeah very very good bit of of setup and also just at the time it kind of sounds like Fitz, don't say that you're so rude you know because when it comes to Gemma he gets very protective and defensive so you know we hear that and we think it's, it can't be bad enough for you to say that come on you know but yeah, we later realize it was so much worse than we thought. And, yeah, great scenes between Coulson and Grant. And, the you know, the, this thing of, oh, it, it smells blood and he's bleeding. And now so are you. And... Yeah, um, May goes to to find, you know, Andrew, and there's that line, you know, what, what's she going to do? Depends on which one she, which, what she finds, I guess. Which is clever, because, like, you know, what, as in Lash, could be what she finds, but also, you know... Does she find a bunch of alive inhumans, or does she find their dead bodies? Which is, yeah, what we see to be the case. I see now the rain is gone. And, yeah, they talk about, you know, oh, the, the hell beast caused all this desolation. And I really appreciate that, like, upon hearing that, you know, Lincoln is like, did we think this all the way through? Because because it is like, as he points out, Jia Ying. Let's see. I think he says he was. She was terrified of the 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 obelisk monolith. Yeah, you know, and yeah, you know, Lincoln knew Jia Ying. He knew that she didn't like. She was not someone who freaked out at, like, a hangnail or something. You know, if she was scared of something, there was a reason for it. You know, we, we I don't think we were ever told exactly how old she was, but we know it's got to be at least, like, 70. You know, she was around in the 40s, and she hasn't aged a day in 70 years. She's been around, she's seen some crap. The fact that she was this scared, uh, yeah. And, yeah, they talk about the, the risk. And we see that Lash, uh, yeah, we see Lash having killed the Inhumans and being missing. So, yeah, the, the, there's that line about, you know, Maybe there isn't much of a distinction anymore between Andrew and Lash. You know, that's the thing. Like, Gemma, she doesn't really have much of a choice. She needs some... You know, she can't take out the, the Hydra on her own, and it's just a matter of time before they're going to find her. She's, like, backed into a corner. Yeah, you know, and she knows the stuff he's done. You know, she did autopsies on those bodies, but what is she gonna do? You know. But but yeah, uh, either Andrew completely lost control of Lash once he transformed, or maybe that was Lash and he just manipulated her, manipulated the situation. And yeah, so Mac gives the order that they all go and Daisy has one thing, okay, two things to say, and she stays behind. And we see the the civilizations in the no-fly zone, like, holy crap, it really, like, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, we get a little bit of a history lesson, and I really just, because, like, the moment that he starts to explain, like, before Fitz says the words, we too, the audience, are thinking, how could he possibly know all of this? You know, this is not the, the kind, like, 
this is like a first-hand account, basically. This is not like, oh, you know, I heard a rumor from the no one else who lives on this planet that, no, that's you know, what he's saying. That's that's from someone who actually was that just, yeah, very, very cool. And you're not Will, are you? No. Will died protecting Gemma. I'm what killed him. Something like that, you know, just, yeah. Um, let's see. And, yeah, it is also really, like, the thing with the leg, because, like, yeah, it's, you know, it look, it, it seems really bad even just looking at the, the, the outside of the pant leg, and it's like, what is Will going to do? Tell Fitz, don't try to help with my leg. Like, at, at some point, it's going to be like, okay, that's, that's a really strange thing to say. Why would you not want him? Like, Fitz, by this point, has completely proven that he is trustworthy for Will. You know, it would be another thing if it was, like, Grant or something. But, yeah. And, you know, he, yeah, he basically just lets Fitz, you know, uncover and just so just love the effect the the such a gnarly you know i love a good like gory nasty kind of it's just holy crap that was and like fitz doesn't like take one look and then back away he just like he keeps rolling up the the pants like oh mm -hmm. oh just keeps going and going huh which you know the special effects team want their their hard work up there on the screen i can respect that that was no, seriously, absolutely loved that. Just, holy crap. And, you know, by, by the way, this was like the, the part, yeah, the mid-season finale. So, yeah, the, you know, they, they had to make sure that people would stick around to see what happens next. And, yeah, they really gave a lot of reasons to... See, and there's a lot of payoff in this episode on stuff that had been set up. I love the fact that, like, uh, yeah, this is slightly out of order, but the fact you're out of order. The fact that not only is Joey bulletproof, but he like loves it. He's not like blasé about it. like we've had so many superheroes who are like, yeah, that's that's a thing I can do. Let's move on. No, he's like. I'm bulletproof. That's amazing. Just it's, yeah, that was very very fun, and and yeah, you know that is the thing. Like if he can, when when metal touches him, he can melt it or or use it to like construct something. Yeah, you know, if, if, I guess it, it probably requires ridiculously fast reflexes, but yeah, that's that's essentially what he's doing. You know, the the metal bullets are coming into contact with him. And he's he's melting them, and the fact that he just jumps, you know, dives in front of Daisy, like yeah, she really made an impression on him. Let's see, and then we have the let's see, yeah, um, Grant Coulson, Fitz, and Will are very close to the the portal I love the detail I only I only picked it up as I was going up you know just like half a minute ago or something but the fact that will the real will specifically said you you can't go to the no-fly zone it's not safe never go there and here this will Hell Beast will. Will Beast. He's like, I, I got you, fam. I'm gonna take you directly into the no-fly zone. And, like, at the time, we think, yeah, because, you know, that is like, it's, it's the, it's, it's like a desperate ploy. It's, it's the last, the, the, um, last resort kind of thing. But no, this was just, this is what the Hell Beast, you know, that's, somewhere that it's very powerful or something I still maybe I, maybe I missed something but I'm not 100% certain what exactly there is about the 
Maybe it's drawn to it. And that's why it led them there. Maybe we'll learn more. It's not a big deal. I'm not saying it's like, oh, plot hole or something. Let's see. And yeah, you know, Colson's like, it's over, Grant. I have the high ground. So the flare was absolutely awesome. Like, you know, at first Fitz is shooting Will multiple times, Will Beast. And then just gets back, like, very zombie, really. Although I guess it's more of like a, a possession of a physical, you know, but, yeah, very, very cool. And, you know, gets back up, and so Fitz fires the flare, and we see, the, the like, his head is burning, and later is, like, just completely scorched, and he opens his mouth, and a little bit of gunk pours out, just so nasty. I really love that the show is willing to, to go that kind of, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah, so Fitz is like, Coulson, we have to go. The portal is closing. We might not be able to return. And Coulson's like, I'll be right out. And, you know, uses the... the a robot hand to to just crush the the uh, what are they called again the the rib cage of of Grant holy crap just yeah let's see and yeah and and the thing with uh, you know the the um, let's see. There's that thing, you know, okay, you know, fire on my command, fire. And we think, oh, you know, they weren't able to get them out. But no, they were. And, you know, the shooting was right after everyone got out safe so that it would be impossible to, you know, for... So, yeah, so they take out the Hydra that are there and destroy the thing so much, which I also appreciate. We saw, you know, some of the, like, the building collapsing and such. And yeah, they got out in the containment container. And let's see, then we have the um, yeah, you know, being, you know, everyone's hugging and, you know, Gemma goes over and she's like, you know, okay, so Will didn't come walking out, maybe he's injured, goes up, looks through the glass, no will, no way. And, yeah, it, you know, she's completely devastated, you know, I, like, I was thinking to myself earlier, like, oh, I, I kind of hope they resolve the love, love triangle, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of love triangles, I didn't want this, I didn't want him to be dead before we even saw him again and then for his body to get desecrated like that and I love the little look between Coulson and, and Fitz I don't know if Coulson was there even time for him to explain it kind of looked to me like Coulson does not believe that Fitz really did try to bring Will back. It looked like he... Because, like, what did Coulson see? He saw Fitz shoot Will in the back a bunch of times and then shoot him with a flare gun and leave him there to burn. You know, I mean, we saw that the, the you know, Will also fought Fitz. Although, you know, if Coulson didn't see that Will was the one who started that, I mean, if Fitz tried to attack... Will, what's Will going to do? Not fight back? And we end on the, 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 um, ah, what, what on earth did I write? Um, right, right, yeah, uh, Gideon, says, I'll be damned, or something like that, <laughs> because the Hell Beast, 
and Grant is it, which means he lost the game of tag and the audience won because I am really gonna enjoy watching Brett Dalton play the hell beast in Grant Ward's body and I and he, he got the the robot hand with and, and everything and his face is all messed up because yeah the body the these two bodies were very close to the portal you know we didn't see every single second yeah the the so I guess the liquid is what the the living spirit it resides and maybe that's why it leaked out of Will's mouth after to, to get to Ward and to, to Ward Ward and so so a bit like you know the Venom symbiote or something but yeah that's that's such a cool concept and and that's also yeah I mean we never saw it that clearly before we just saw that it, it had a somewhat humanoid figure I can imagine that the figure it used to use was one of the the astronauts that that Will had to let's see did they ki kill each other themselves some something like that you know that's why we didn't see a face it hid the face because you know maybe there's substantial injury there and it would be immediately obvious to a human being that that's not you know that that person can't possibly still be living and I think that is about yeah this is another one of those where the IMDb trivia for the episode doesn't really have someone bothered to enter Mavith is the Hebrew word for death I mean that's literally in the episode so I don't know why they felt the need and then they point something out that I feel like is kind of a spoiler or something coming up. It was something I already knew, but yeah, I'm not going to talk about it in this episode. <laughs> I like when... So yeah, Mac is, is... You know, yeah, Bobby is like, you know, let's go in guns blazing. And, and Mac is like, um, that's it. You know, you're wired different than most folks. <laughs> He's always honest. And she says, I'm not saying it'll be easy. And Hunter's like, I wouldn't mind hearing it's going to be easy. It'll be easy. Doesn't work if I know you're lying. And let's see. Yeah, and Grant, like, philosophizes. He tries to make it seem, you know, he's yeah, he says... I'm not looking for mercy or absolution. I chose Hydra for petty personal selfish reasons. What I saw today gave my life meaning. For the first time ever, I have a sense of satisfaction that I never experienced when I was seeking revenge. And then, you know, Colson shoots Warren. Gotta say, it feels pretty satisfying to me. Let's see. And in closing... Garner points out to Simmons, maybe you didn't hear, but Melinda shot me. And she just points out, I can't say I blame her after how you've misbehaved. 